acting up. So talk to me about what brought you out today. Um, I think it's important for women to come together and celebrate the strength of other women. Uh, in this situation, particularly women of color and their accomplishments, I love Angela. I mean, the women that are being honored here, I love and they're amazing to me. And um, I find them personally to be extremely inspirational. I said that. And I think other people do too. And I think it's important to come together and celebrate our strengths and our joys and our happiness and sometimes our sadness. But it's important for us to do this. Talk to me about what Essence meant to you as a little brown girl. What Essence means to little brown girls is, is I think, hope and even a bit of education and hopefully fashion. And it means it's uh, hopefully a destination that you can come to um, re rely on for stories that mean something to you because it's people that are similar to you. And it's Black History Month. Can you tell me who your black history heroes are and why? Who my black history heroes are? I don't know. I, I think it's important for people not to get into the cliche of Black History Month. I think it's important to celebrate, you know, yes, you're, you're Martin Luther King and you're Frederick Douglass and, and so many great men and women, but, but I think it shouldn't be more than just... Um, a month and I don't think it should be just February and it's not only Martin Luther King it's Etta James and Dorothy Dandridge and I don't know though even those are the mainstream ones but there's so many that we don't know their names as well and I think that this education needs to take place amongst those that are we, we know really well and amongst those that we maybe don't know so well but who really paved the way for us and I think it should be an education that is part of um, American history so yes, it is black history and it's our history, but it's American history. And so I think it should be talked about all the time. What, what's 30 days or 31 days? What's that? I think it should be all the time. I think it's important in school. I go to schools and I talk to them during Black History Month. And I think it's important to integrate that, what I teach them, into what they're learning every day. It's not like something you just pull out for the month of February and sprinkle it around and kind of put it away. I think it should be there all the time. I've just been asked to ask, what are your top three travel destinations in the world? Um, I love um, Bora Bora. I love uh, St. Bart's. And I love Paris. It's not like the it's not so much traveling like the ultimate destination, but it's like my second home. So I love it. It's very fashion. You want to talk to us about what's going on with your show right now or with any of your lines? I'm in the fifth season, Life in the Fab Lane. Um, it's going great. It's getting great uh, reception and top ratings. I'm really happy about that. Um, it's a lot of work. 2011 is about out with the old and in with the new. So I, I'm launching my sixth fragrance in the spring. I'm launching, a, not, not launching, I mean it's my sixth one, but it's new, called Love Me. I'm launching my skincare line called Shinto Clinical. I'm working on KLS and Hello Kitty and Couture. So. It's a fashionable time, and I think it's a time, you know, it's a new decade for all of us, so it's like a, a new leaf, a new opportunity, upward and onward. I have to ask, how the heck you do it? I don't know. You hear my voice is leaving me. So, obviously, some kid gave me that.